can't get it back. Every time I pull up, they're like, who is that? I slide with the Glock when I'm busting the trap. We found a treasure, put gang on the map. If he give you my number, I'll give you my snap. You beefing my brother, I can't give you that. Running this race is my third overlap. Why are these niggas only tough for the strap? I ain't got about weed, cause the hair like Rapunzel. I ball like LeBron, and you ball like Lonzo. Smoke straight people, I ain't tryna smoke Fronto. Church just sends me, I ain't tryna convo. I just the Glock, make me feel like Rondo. Dick in the mouth, think I'm touching the tonsils. Bro, got the drum like bongos. Tryna build an empire just like the Mongols. With life in heart, someone told me to pray. And give you a girl, I want you to stay. Every time we go out, you know I'm a pay. Only fell out one time and she can't stay away. Think about the day I buried my brother, that shit in my mind is stuck on replay. They asked me, why did I do it? I sat back and relaxed and had nothing to say. Take sound for bro. Welcome back to the Oregon State Dynasty, ladies and gentlemen. Another big game today. I told you the last week was the biggest game of the year. This one may be even bigger. There's no Pac-12 North Division crown on the line. There's no trophy on the line today, but it's still a rivalry game. And if you missed the last episode, my starting quarterback, the former Heisman watch list, uh, the favorite to win the Heisman quarterback, Lee McGee, is out for this game. He got injured in the fourth quarter in last week's contest at uh, Washington. Uh, minutes he didn't even need to be playing the game was firmly in our grasp but he took a sack and if it got a concussion so he's going to be out for this game and the next one eric copeland the red shirt sophomore going to be stepping into some big spotlight today and he's going to have to carry this team to its 11th win of the year on senior night can he get the job done we're going to find out but first let's take a look at the sliders so as we say every week heisman everything here eight minute quarters 10 speed threshold you see the penalty numbers right here j kit sliders and the user numbers here, CPU numbers right there. Let's get into the game preview. All right, so Lee Corso, of course, going with the Beavers here. Why wouldn't you? I mean, maybe there's a little bit of doubt that Copeland's playing, but we have we have one of the best running games in the nation. We still have all that skill position talent on the outside to help out Copeland. And, of course, that really good defense, the best defense in the nation. So, uh, really, it shouldn't be too hard of a pick. Don't scratch your head too much at, you know, McGee not being able to play. Copeland's a dual-threat quarterback. He gets still execute in this offense. I got full faith in him. You take a look at the numbers here. We're better than Washington State in everything except passing offense. That's kind of what they do, but in past years, they've kind of reverted from that air raid system that Mike Leach ran and the run and shoot and everything like that. They're kind of starting to do more under center stuff. So I don't know what they're... I don't, apparently, they have a good passing offense, so maybe they've gone back to that air raid. I guess we'll find out in the game. But this used to be a really tough contest, tough matchup for us because of that offense that they run. But in recent years, especially last year, we won 98 to 10. So it really hasn't been that close, but we still take it serious because the Cougars are one of the few teams to take us down. We've only lost nine times at Oregon State in, I think, eight or nine seasons, and this team beat us twice. So we take this game serious every single time we play it, and we should be heavily favored today. Uh, no surprise there. We'll take a look at our schedule here. Coming off a big win on the road at Washington. That clinched us the Pac-12 North Division. If you missed that game, I'll tag it right here. Be sure you go watch that. Uh, the highlights as well. Those will be up too. Um, so they were number 22 last week. They dropped to 25 this week with that loss. They're 8-2, and two, but projected to play in the Alamo Bowl, I believe it was. Check out the recruiting episode. Just posted that as well. So you can see all the full projections in that episode there. Uh, but all these games are on YouTube. I started playing with the revamped version of this game with Stanford so you can check that game out and of course all the previous ones are up here great resume great wins on the schedule here Washington State schedule looks like this any quality wins on here we pick any outs they beat Cal by one but this is when Cal was still trying to recover from you know all those injuries they had their quarterback their offensive linemen so uh, kind of an inflated win right there and they barely even won that game but you still got to give them credit for winning so I guess we'll give them credit for that um, in terms of losses, yeah, not not good ones. It's a lot to uh, some mediocre teams here. Good one to Stanford, but they got blown out. So they lost to UVA. Interesting matchup there. So, yeah, not really scared of this team on paper. Nothing really to be scared about. Is there anybody uh, numbers-wise, personnel-wise they have that could scare me? Let's see. Quarterback looks very turnover-prone. 11 interceptions this year, as you can see, in the 14 touchdowns. But passing for... 2,500 yards and his completion percentage looks to be below 50%. So, uh, running back wise, though, they got a guy with 6.2 yards every single time he touches the football, 623 yards total this year, seven touchdowns. So, pretty good running back, not too good. O'Connell's got double his yardage, so just put that into perspective. Uh, receiving wise, pretty good receiver here 54 catches, 781 yards, 15 per catch, and six touchdowns. So we got a clue in on Harrison here, and then defensively, not much to speak of. Guy with four sacks. So, yeah. 
like I keep saying, not scared of this team whatsoever. Here are our numbers. This is, uh, you know, obviously don't take into account McGee's numbers there because he's not going to be playing. Copeland's come in and played in garbage time, but he's barely done much of anything. He's maybe passed for 100 yards, but he's ran for probably 102, a couple touchdowns. So, like I said, he's shown promise. We'll see what he can do in his first career start. McConnell, though, he's going to be key for us today. 1,200 yards, 8.1 per touch, 12 touchdowns, 120 per game. I think we need 200 out of him today at least if we want to win this ball game and comfortably. James Parker, 39 catches for 647 yards and 7 touchdowns. I guess he didn't catch a single pass last week, which is a little bit uh, alarming. So we're going to have to get the ball to him this week. It's probably just going to happen anyways. We don't even need to go after him, really. Defensively, Jonathan Joseph picked up another sack last week. He's got 9. Joe Evans has 8, I believe, as well. The other defensive end, Dwayne Patton has 3 interceptions. And Vince Perry leading our team with 40 tackles. So here we go. Big game. Senior night in Corvallis. Chance to get to 11-0. And, uh, you know, continue to carry this momentum forward. And I'm excited to see what Copeland can do in his first career start. We're going to face a little bit of adversity, but you guys know I always love a challenge. So let's see what happens. Let's roll the dice. All right, we gotta let Copeland settle into the game here. Like I said, first career start, so we're gonna come out. Nice, easy throw, let him ease into this ball game. And his first pass is intercepted. That's a bad read on my part. That was great coverage. Ball should not have been thrown. That is, uh, that is the worst start you could possibly have right there. That was really bad. Now uh, we gotta make up for that defensively. That was awful. That's on me. Coming out with a run, they hand off, and Taylor gets downhill, wraps him up. Another run on second down. There's a lane, and Taylor's gotta make the tackle. Hitch out, turn, turn the corner, Taylor. Oh, we whiff on the tackle, and he walks in for an easy touchdown. We were right there to make the play, and we just simply missed it. That was just a terrible start. That was as bad as we've looked all year, but let's go. We can respond from it right here in special teams. Can't be phased by it. Let's go, Patton. Get a pancake from Phillips, and Dwayne Patton is into the second level. One man to beat. He outruns him. Dwayne Patton is gone. How about that for a response? Said I'm on that gold shit. I'm on some pro shit. You get exposed because you on some ho shit. Don't live in the jungle. I keep me a stick. Protecting myself. We out here taking risks. If you go be a bitch, then why do you exist? You ain't come to bug with your ass on the bench. They want to watch, but don't know where I've been. All right, let's get the defense figured out. I mean, just kind of forget about that opening drive. They had great starting field position. Let's reset here and get a stop. Coming out with a draw. He hands it off. There's a lane. Oh, my. We're just getting no push. And that was a blitz, too. Of course, now they pass it. They go play action. I don't see anything open. He's got the corner out, but he overthrows it. Draw play. Get there, get there, get there. Let's go. Vince Perry comes from his safety position, makes the tackle, fourth down. Got Haas in the timing Bruh. round. That's what I'm talking about right there. Copeland just misses the easy throws. I don't. His overall is low. Maybe it's the sliders. Man coverage should have it. Yes, he can make that throw. He hit Parker. Makes his first catch of the ball game. Okay, we got a zone blitz coming. We're going to run against it anyway. I trust in my guys here. Let's go, Brian. Get this first down. Right up the middle. The jukes out the safety and picks up the first down. There we go. Now Brian opening the flat, has a block, plenty of room to run, make, breaks a tackle, gets over the sticks, picks up 12. We need all of that today. Yep. He's wide open over the middle. We go right back to Bryant. Spin move inside the 15. Two big catches from the senior. Hole up the middle. McConnell right, uh, runs through an arm tackle, picks up eight, and he's inside the five. Handoff goes to Pennington, he fights through a tackle, gets the first down, and he's all the way down to the half-yard line. There we go, wide out. 
Phillips got to beat him. That's Bruh. a touchdown. What? Follow Harwell. Great push. Are you kidding me, bro? All right, we're going for this. This is absolutely ridiculous. If we can't get this half yard, this is absolutely ridiculous. Phillips, get your ass in the end zone. There we go. There we go. Run him over. Get in there. Find a way. Another handoff, another outside run, and he runs right in to Dwayne Patton. Speed option right side, Joseph takes away the back, and Patton chases him down from the other side. He's all over the field tonight. In route, corner, Patton, we gotta make that tackle, and we do. We get off the field with another stop. Dwayne Patton made all the plays on that drive. Started out really rocky, we're down 7 zip, but I like how the team responded in the next couple of drives. The defense picked up its level of play, two straight stops, and Copeland led a nice drive in that last one. Nearly didn't get points, but we did. Let's keep it up. Keep for Copeland, gets a couple of pancakes, gets another block. Look at Haas, dude, picking up two and three blocks, springing us free for the first down. Good block from Phillips, of course, McConnell runs behind him, gets 10, and the first down. Got him on the drag, oh, he just barely got rid of that, we find Brewer, and we get 7, could have easily been a sack, we'll take it. And off McConnell, runs over the safety, runs over another tackler, and he's all the way down to the 10, he's going wild. Keeper for Copeland, has to beat one guy, goes a step back there, probably shouldn't have, but it works out well, we still get eight. Yikes, that, uh, that just did not work at all. And off hole, oh, it's Bryant in the ball game. he fights forward and gets three, so fourth and goal from the one. Should have it, oh man, a great chase down tackle by the linebacker, shot the gap. And made the play. A fullback dive with the middle. He hurdles over the pressure there in the middle and gets nine. Huh. Okay, third and one. They're going five wide, but I'm not buying it. We're going to blitz. I think he's going to go with the QB draw. We'll see, though. Yeah, he is. Got to get in there. Let's go. We knew it. We knew it. You're not fooling us, man. I know you're not passing that ball. Damn, didn't get much. McConnell's going to make the catch at about midfield. They have plenty of room to return. He's got the right sideline at his disposal here. He outruns the first wave. He has blocks down the field. Inside the five and finally brought down to the two-yard line. Let's go. Okay, let's quit fooling around and just punch this thing in right here. McConnell did all the work, but we're going to see if we can get Copeland into the end zone for the touchdown. Copeland gets a block. Nice job from John McConnell. The beautiful punt return, the beautiful block, and we get the touchdown. Handoff first down, trying to cut it outside, but we're right there for it. Looked like Joe Reynolds made first contact. Pass on second down. Looks like a designed rollout, and Patton got burned on that route. Run, read option, second down. Oh, he's got some room. Got to come down and make this play. Yikes, come on, y'all. Get there, Pat. Oh, it's Burnett. He gets there, makes the tackle. He misses, but Reynolds cleans it up. Keeping it. Get there, Davis. Oh, man, he made the contact, but breaks the tackle. Damn, bro, Patton's getting burned out here today. I don't know what's going on with him. He's not covering anything. And off right into Pat, and he comes right back and makes a play. If he could just cover now, that'd be great. Speed option. Joseph comes into the backfield and slams him home. Third and 17. Let's go. More pressure in the backfield. I think it was Joseph again. He performed on the first play. Bouncing it outside. Running through a tackler. Gets the first down. Let's go. Hurry up. Got the tunnel screen for Pennington. Has a block over here. Another chunk. Let's go. I like that play. Run for McConnell. Not much room. He falls down. Fourth and inches. We're going to spend another timeout. 
The block from McCray over there. McConnell gets the first down and falls forward for 11. We got nine seconds. Still got that timeout, too. Got Haas on the out route. He has to beat his defender. He's dragged down at the eight with three seconds to go. We're going to set up for the field goal. He nearly had a shot at the touchdown there. We got it. All right, so 24 to 10 at the half. I'm pretty pretty satisfied with that. I've liked what Copeland's done. Special teams in the run game have really bailed him out and set him up for success. Aside from that first play, which was an interception, uh, it's been really good. The defense done a phenomenal job. Let's keep it going in the second half. Draw play on first down. We blitz against it, and Joe Reynolds gets in the backfield. Good way to start the second half. Handoff speed option. Look at Dwayne Patton. That was his man, and he followed him all the way and wrapped up. In route, sack, let's go! Joe Evans comes off the edge and brings him down. He's wide open, hit him, let's go, give me that block outside. Dang, I wish... Oh, that was perfectly played by the safety, but he did everything except pick that pass off. We'll take it. Pass on second down. He's going up the seam. Burnett, yes, get there. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Hand off. What's That's he doing? Man. He's running right into Dwayne Patton again. He continues to make plays. Good hole. Oh, baby. Got a little bit of a crease for McConnell. He finds it and runs for 30. How about it? Keeper for Copeland has a lead blocker up here. He's running away from him. I don't know where he was going, but good play. Nothing open here. Let's just take off and run Copeland and slide. Well done, baby. Keeper for Hall. He has a hole. Breaks a tackle. Where is he going? Got him. There's Parker. Get in there. Let's go. All right, game's completely in our favor now. Like I said, last possession was the tipping point. We're in total control. Let's keep it that way. Another sack. Get that. Let's go. Fumble right into the hands of Joe Evans. He walks in for a touchdown. Yes. Let's go. Another scoop and score. We had one last year. Same situation. Defense continues to play unbelievable. Mm. Come here, ball! Another shack. Let's go. Who's getting it this time? Chris Davis. It's a party. We're going to keep setting the pressure. They're on their toes right now. Let's keep them there. And we got a false start. They're so rattled right now. Let's go, baby. Slant route here. Out route there. Patton gets burned again. Run play, goes up the middle, Reynolds comes downhill, and wraps up the back, fourth down. And off McConnell. Oh, good block there, room for McConnell, he's got another blocker down the sideline, bounces it out, just gotta beat this last defender, and he's going all the way. I was about to compliment Washington State for containing him, no longer. All right, that ends the third quarter, 52 to 10. What we score? About 28 points, like 28 zip in that quarter. Absolutely dominated, and uh, you know, propelling us to our 11th win of the year. Having some fun. Let's put the backups in for Senior Day. Hey. Let's go, <laughs> BJ Burnett. Let's go! Oh, drops it on third down. Now Quentin Brown checks into the ball game. He's a guy that was in the same recruiting class as Eric Copeland, more of a pocket passer. See what he can do. 
His first pass is a throw out for Carl Wilson. Nice block. Here's Chris Hall getting a first down for the Beavs. Stay up. Let's go, Brian. Nice hole. Look at that. Plenty of room for Bryant. Got it. Against the cover, too. Wilson taps the toes. Oh, uh, that's just... I was assuming he was just going to throw that in the dirt. Oh, so close to a safety. Oh, man. Yeah, this guy, McCoy, can absolutely hit. Woohoo! Brandon Hill off the edge. The redshirt senior making a play. Screen pass. Can't get it off, though. Jared Hemphill hits him as he's thrown. Nice throw. There you go, baby. Bang. Let's go. Carl Hollywood Wilson into the end zone. Good way to end the game. Wow, upset alert, baby. Unreal. Bang, bang. So that does it. 59 to 10. Another blowout here in Corvallis on senior night. Copeland and the boys take care of business. It was really a team effort tonight. No one really stood out. So I don't know who's going to get player of the game. Could be Copeland. Probably going to be McConnell between his running. I mean, that, yeah. At, he wasn't really doing much. He only had like 70 yards before he broke this run wide open. But he did a lot in the return game today as well. He carried us as I expected him. Uh, to do so, and uh, it was big in you know in getting this victory today and moving to 11 and 0. So, like I said, a team effort. Of, I think McConnell's going to get player of the game though. Let's see, should find out in just a second here. It's good to see the guys celebrating there. Last home game of the year, so saw some seniors make some plays. Brandon Hale, Jeremiah Bryant, you know. Uh, Copeland gets player of the game. Okay, I didn't think he played that well. His first uh, pass was an interception, but you know what? Dude came in, stepped up in the spotlight, and led this team to a win, no matter how much help he got from the return game, special teams, and the defense. Uh, the scary part is that wasn't even our best game. We could still play better, so hopefully we can play the complete, perfect game against Oregon. But I'll talk to you guys in the post game. We'll wrap it up. Okay, so we checked about pretty much all the boxes this week. Copeland came in the game. We won, get to 11-0, had fun with the seniors, and we advanced into the next one. We're going to get one more week without our starter, Lee McGee, but he should be back for postseason play. So, came out, got a blowout. Wasn't really a tight game. We had a little bit of problems in the beginning with that interception and the goal line stop they had and everything like that, but we scored 28 third quarter points, and we shut him out after the first quarter, I believe it was. So... That's just kind of what we do. We get down a little bit early. It takes a second to warm up. One bad play, you know what I mean? But then, you know, we make a couple of big plays in a row, get some stops, piece together some drives, and then before you know it, we're up by 40 points. So that was really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed as well. Be sure to like this video for me and subscribe to the channel. We got the season finale of the Civil War 
at Oregon next. They just knocked off Washington in an upset, so they're looking for their sixth win of the year, looking to make a bowl game still, and we're still going to be having our backup play uh, playing in that game. So a lot of interesting storylines still to be played out here. This was step one, step two at Oregon. Hopefully we can keep the momentum going and finish the regular season 12-0. and 0. But I will talk to you guys when I bring you that game. Be sure to check out the next recruiting episode because it'll be week 14, and we should have some answers on that front for guys committing and things of that nature. If not 14, then definitely 15. Be, uh, be tuned in, plugged in for those two episodes and, of course, the next game. All right, so I can't wait to bring you guys that one. Talk to you when it comes out. My name is John Eats. Go Beeves.